Good afternoon. The challenge Uganda faces is the increase of the number of jobs in the more productive sectors, shifting people out of agriculture into services and industry, while at the same time putting in place interventions which will enhance productivity in agriculture. The purpose of the Uganda Skills Development Program is to support the design of the initial set of reforms that will set the foundation for transforming skills development in the country. It equally aims at creating a scalable more for high quality vocational and technical training which is linked to the labor market needs for specific sectors now last week we went to Uganda the last two weeks we went to Uganda Petroleum Institute Chigumba we discussed about the Institute and what skills they are offering the market uh, the job market and from there we we went to Kichwamba Technical College. Now here, we entirely talked about civil engineering, electrical, ICT innovation, mechanical, among others. Today, let's go to Lira District, which hosts the Uganda Technical College of Lira. We are discussing the formation of the UTC Lira for road bridge and highway construction training. And in the studios with me, I have Akunobere Jacob, the principal Uganda Technical College leader. I have Nabiata Abbas, institutional relations officer, and Mr. Bongo Elvis, the deputy principal UTC leader. This show is powered by the Ministry of Education and Sports, Skilling Uganda and the World Bank. Join the conversation with the hashtag Skilling for Success. I'm Andrew Chamagdan. Welcome to the show. But first, let's have a look at what UTC leader is all about. In 2016, the government of Uganda undertook a major investment decision and initiated the Uganda Skills Development Project, USDP, with financial support from the World Bank. The purpose of this move was to commence the implementation of key reforms aimed at scaling Ugandans to optimize employment both at the national as well as international levels. The project development goal of the USDP was to enhance the quality of technical and vocational institutions in Uganda to provide demand-driven training for employability in the agriculture, construction and manufacturing sectors. One of the outstanding investments that Uganda government has made through the USDP is the transformation of Uganda's national technical and vocational education and training colleges to become centers of excellence, expert training authorities in the country's key sectors. When we talk about a center of excellence, we are talking about a place where you can go and get the best of that, uh, the best of what you'd want to see, where you can go and get all that you want in that profession. And we are talking about a center where the training in that profession is best done. It's difficult when you have very many trades within that institution. So as a country, we are saying, let's find for each trade somewhere where people know that this is where we can go for that trade. Through the USDP, the government has begun the process of upgrading Technical College Bushenyi to provide top-notch training in manufacturing trades. Bukalasa Agriculture College is being transformed into the epitome and one-stop shop for agriculture training, while Uganda Technical College Elgon is growing into Uganda's expert trainer in building construction training. UTC Lira is being upgraded to become Uganda's superior training center for road, bridge, and highway construction training. Lira Technical College has been designed and has been uh, designated for road construction. That is a center of excellence in road construction. So whatever input we are putting in, in, in Lira is meant to ensure that they are able to train, they have the facilities, they have the infrastructure and they have the curriculum that is designed for road construction. That is a challenge that's, and that's a new area that we've not been having strongly in this country. So we will now all be going to Lira for road construction. However, again to support Lira, we have three other institutions that are also being designed the same way to support road construction. And that includes Kitgum Technical Institute, Kalongo Technical Institute and Ora Technical Institute. All of them are being upgraded, all of them are being um, capacity built, all of them have the equipment and all of them have the infrastructure that is necessary for road construction. 
UTC Lira is a national technical college that offers national diploma and higher diploma technical courses. It is located in Lira municipality on Soroti Road. The college is committed to meeting the workforce and economic development needs of the country by providing highly skilled, knowledgeable technologists who are reliable and innovative employees and employers. The college has accomplished through strong partnership with the industry to provide job-related practical skills that are required by the world of work. UTC Lira is growing fast into Uganda's first center of excellence, offering road, highway and bridge construction training in the country. The college's growth advanced recently through the USDP when the government established a twinning arrangement between the college and Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, Canada. The partnership took effect in 2019 with the goal of supporting the college to improve its governance systems, adapt its curricula to international standards, put in place the right workshops and equipment to deliver the new curricula and retool its instructors to deliver competency-based curricula. The training was very necessary because it has improved our skill on road constructions and surveying and also on the area of uh, bridge constructions and material testing. So because our skill were built, it has helped us to impact that skill of, uh, of hands-on to the students who are with us currently and those ones who are to come. The ambition of the government of Uganda in establishing centers of excellence like UTC Lira is to promote specialization, high standards of training and learning, as well as field research and innovation. From the time this partnership was established, UTC Lira worked closely with Northern Alberta Institute of Technology to undertake a comprehensive market survey to inform the new direction. As a result, four occupational standards and international curricula and courses were developed in 1. Topographical and land surveying, 2. Road construction and maintenance, 3. Bridge and culvert construction, and four, materials and soil testing. These are one-year courses that have been modulized into three-month short courses that have been studied at the convenience of the student. To accommodate the growing interest in these courses, the college has provided for enrollments into day, evening and weekend programs so as to cater for all categories of trainees. To strengthen the governance systems, the college worked with Northern Alberta Institute of Technology to put in place an institutional development plan, a human resource development plan, an agenda action strategy and plan. An industry liaison and student placement unit has also been established to strengthen its relationship with the industry. Government has constructed world-class facilities to deliver the new courses and to accommodate the growing student population. Within a space of two years, government has constructed an administration block, a training laboratory, a classroom block, a girls' hostel, a boys' hostel, generator house, a staff house, and a heavy-duty machine shed at the college. That aside, the college has received assortments of unique world-class equipment that are commensurate with industry standards. UTC Lira has received a full road construction unit, including a tipper truck, a grader, a roller, an excavator, and a wheel loader. These equipments are going to help us do hands-on as the main objective under Tibet policy training. So we are able now to do road constructions, not by theory, but by constructing road. We are able now to do surveying, design of road, and coming up with alignment, not by classwork, but by picking these equipment and using them to collect data, which we finally use it for 
designing. They also received unique road construction lab equipment, some of which are the only ones within the East African region. This is the gyratory compactor that is only here in UTC Lira, before people used to go to, to Kenya to do their design, to test their design in Superpave. But now you can come to UTC Lira that will be hoping in the training and also in the production side to help our business community and even like Wundra can come here. Not only that, those who are doing their research in Superpave make design can also come here and then they test them, uh, their design from here. And we are glad that our students will come and they will do their training. And after when they go out, we expect them to be unique from these other students. The college has received a 67-seater bus and a 14-seater drone to improve student learning. UTC Lira has also received new furniture and ICT equipment, including laptops, desktop computers, projectors, photocopiers. This equipment will be instrumental in enabling this institution to fit within the new global direction of ICT learning. Aside from undertaking in-country training to develop as well as deliver the new curricula, a total of 14 instructors and members of the management team of the UTC Lira recently undertook offshore training at National Agency for Professional Training of Adults, AFPA, one of the major vocational training centers in Europe. A total of 203 students have already been trained in the new curricula and have been released to the industry for internship. Another cohort of 300 students have been enrolled to commence training. It is an appeal to the general public that uh, we, we should take opportunity uh, of the new programs that were developed and also we ensure that our children enrolled uh, for this training. These are our institutions. The investments we have made is for Ugandans and Ugandans should uh, enjoy. Ifokia, who got his first diploma from Uganda Technical College, Elgon, can quickly find a job. Okezia, who did a short baking course at Wakalasa Agricultural College, can start her own business. And Kato, who got certification in mechanics, can earn a steady income. Then so can you. Your situation can change for the better. Olina Potential, enroll in any certified TVET institution and get the right skills to start a new career today. For more information, visit our offices at the Ministry of Education and Sports or our website at www.education.go.ug. You can also call us on 0417-893-600 or 0414-257-038 or 0417-893-701. Behind the deliciousness of that meal you enjoy at your favorite restaurant is a skilled chef. Behind the strength of that building where you work or study is a skilled technical engineer. Behind the proper electrical wiring and lighting in your home is a skilled electrician, a skilled mechanic, a skilled seamstress, a skilled nurse, a skill. You too can master the right skill to become the best at what you do. Olina Potential. Enroll in any certified TVET institution and get the right skills to start a new career today. For more information, visit our offices at the Ministry of Education and Sports or our website at www.education.go.ug. You can also call us on 0417-893-600 or 0414-257-038 or 0417-893-701. Well, now that you've seen what um, the TC, that is the Technical College of Lira, what they have, it's a conversation now we can put to context that we have the great men in studio this afternoon. Good afternoon, Principal Jacob. It's an honor to see you in person, Kwanzaa. <laughs> Thank you. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year too. Bossa, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good Andrew. to see you too. Abbas, no. Sema. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year too. Good to see you. Yes. So, Principal, I, I, um, I'm very honored in a special way yeah. 
to see that all this is happening in Lira. Yes. And for, for, for the viewer to understand where the journey of Lira has been, mm -hmm. do you mind taking us through what it was like at first? How many students did you have? How much equipment did you have and vis-a-vis -vis the storyline today? Well, thank you so much, yeah. uh, moderator. Uh, you Ghana Technical College Lira started way back in 1945 mm. as a vocational center for the war veterans. Okay. It went, has been undergoing transformations. It later it became a technical school. Mm. Then 19, uh, for, uh, 1972 it became a technical institute. Mm -hmm. 1984 it became a technical college to offer national diploma programs. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, its journey has been very long, but uh, in 2012, is when it started to see a serious transformation of journey under the skills, you, you, uh, the Uganda skills, the skills Uganda strategy, strategy mm. and uh, it had a number of uh, improvements in terms of infrastructure. Mm. But full float uh, float uh, transformation came under the USDP in 2015. Uh, mm. This is when we saw. Uh, UTC leader transforming in terms of infrastructure, mm -hmm. in terms of equipment, in terms of HR capacity building, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, new curricula, which was employer led. Because previously, as you had, uh, you saw from the skips, mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or even our own, w w the way we grew up studying, we would study m much of these uh, practical skills theoretically. Yes. But later in 2012, when the skills Uganda strategy started, mm -hmm. this is when we started adopting the the, the competence-based competence training. Mm. But it has come to, to light in 2015 uh, when we got all this equipment. Mm. And as I talk, we had our first cohort, and those ones are real hands-on. The first cohort? The first cohort, mm. yeah. The only awaiting the uh, uh, theoretical uh, uh, assessment, which is being was, was done by UBITEB, mm. and we hope soon we shall pass out uh, very competent uh, technicians, especially in the road sector, as a, a college, mm. since we were becoming a center of excellence in road construction and maintenance. I love that. Uh, Bosa, when we talk about litter, mm. I see bridges, I see roads. To me, it's mm. transportation, yeah. uh, making sure that transportation is easier. As a deputy there, and you're very vibrant. By the way, um, the principal, I was yeah. very happy. I saw that mm. we have young, vibrant men in there. Yeah. At times when we're talking about leadership, they bring us extremely... Uh, <laughs> The, the ones who initially owned the, 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 the TC, yeah, that, yes. <laughs> the veterans, <laughs> but we are having the young blood. Yeah. So, Bosa, when you see all this in terms of construction, what have you seen among those who have attended the college in terms of their beatitudes and mindset? Do they see this as a silver bullet to themselves? Yes, Andrew. Um, uh, first of all, I want to thank our viewers. Mm. You know, this time, majority of people are winding up the business. Correct. Uh, you maybe. must be businessman. <laughs> 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 now, when, yes. when, as the principal has put it, mm. uh, you know Northern Uganda. Correct. When you see there is political history, mm. it has suffered mm. and um, the bad roads. Mm. And uh, when now we talk about bridges and road construction, uh, I find it like um, uh, this, this is the project that has come. Uh, we'll try to bridge the gap. Uh, a mm -hmm. number of, uh, you know, our catchment area is wide. Mm -hmm. uh, we have West Nile. You know, when we talk about this, because West Nile have no technical college. Yeah. Yeah. So we have West Nile, Acholi, Sabrijol, Karamojo, and Teso. Hey, that's that's how a wide heavy it is. lot. Yeah, that is a kind of uh, bit of uh, our catchment where mm. now the technicians have come. Mm. And um, the training is actually, as we've seen in the clip, it's very hands on. Mm. Um, somebody might ask that now, where are the bridges? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> because they are passing Karomba and other yes. bridges. Mm. Uh, we have a plan where the students get turns on from, we have a field trip. Okay. Yeah, we can have this northern by bypass, we bring them there mm. to see how the construction is taking place, to have at, that idea. Mm -hmm. But um, at our initial stages, we have uh, trained them on a simple bridges like a culvert installation, which mm. is key. When you have many access roads in villages, mm. you know, to get access, maybe from one point you need to have uh, some bit of uh, uh, covers. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So um, uh, to me, I see uh, the interest is there, and a number of uh, uh, students are showing up to have this hands-on training, which has been lacking. Okay. Me personally, I've passed through UTC Lira, 
oh. way back, but uh, <laughs> as that time, he just tell you. the veterans. Yes. He <laughs> <laughs> just tell you this, and you know, it's high, it was just theory. You oh just dear. now get some of these things uh, from the field. Mm. But I now see there are a lot of transformation. The students do the things mm. on their whole. As we talk now, we are trying to improve all, all our own networks. Mm. Yeah, through this, because we have the equipment, we, have, we can procure materials here and there, and use mm. the skills from the students. We see our roads uh, network being improved. Wow, well, yes. that's a very big promise for Ugandans. If you're one of those who's actually watching this program, wherever you're watching from, this is Skills for Success. And today we're talking to uh, the Uganda Technical College of Lira. Abbas, yes. Northern Uganda was raw revenged years ago. This affected communities in one way or the other, where even at times education was a luxury because, I mean, they could not settle. Um, there was war going on. Years later, we have a TC there, technical as it is. As a public relations officer, you liaise a lot with community. You talk to them. What are they saying? What are the people saying about our college? Uh, thank you, um, Andrew. Mm. I think uh, uh, before I continue, when I was watching the clip, mm. I, 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 I'm expecting that the team in Lira yes. are now washing their hands to <laughs> their faces. Okay. Because this is very, very unique. Okay. Some of us went at the uh, technical mm. uh, some 10 years ago. Mm. When you watch this script, you may think you're in another country, not UTC Lira. Correct. So uh, I think uh, the community is very appreciative of this. Mm -hmm. You see, we, you, you were posing a question on attitude. At first, Mm. Uh, technical college generally the attitude was not good looking at the infrastructure looking at the equipment before and the kind of training mm -hmm. but now with what we have if you enter the college mm. you have really entered into a center of excellence mm. and uh, like mm. uh, you saw in the clip when you say you are going to a center of excellence you expect the best of course and uh, I want to assure you that the way we have been involving industry in the design of the curriculum, mm. in the selection of the equipment, mm -hmm. in, in the selection of the instructors. Now, now, what is in UTC leader, especially in Northern Uganda, to answer mm. your question? It is that every person is tip like this. Because you have, this curriculum is inclusive. Oh, so they the own players. it. The, we mm. own it as a college, industry has owned it, and all the employers. Mm. I've had several breakfast meetings with the industry people mm. to present this curriculum to them to appreciate. Okay. We have presented this curriculum to the communities. To appreciate it. When we received this equipment, I mm. ensured we drive all of them the way you saw them, those that are movable. Yes. In the whole of Lira. So that they understand. They must <laughs> appreciate this is their project. It's not our project. And that's the challenge we've been having with the previous curriculum. Yes. It's not, have not been bad, mm. but they have been curriculum that are designed in an office. Mm. Come 2015, when we had this USDP, the strategy was, how are we, uh, how mm. are we going to start? Positioning. How are we going to position mm. ourselves so that people appreciate? Yes, correct. That's why we had to bring very many people on board. Mm. Our curriculum we are talking about spent about two years. Oh. We have a training partner from Canada. Mm -hmm. He develops the competences. But we said, no, this is from Canada. We need Let's our not own. follow back to the other problem we've been having. Yes. Can we take this? Mm. and the employers scrutinize okay. because we are producing for them for the market yes for the market mm. and that's how uh, we have gotten the information to dig deeper into even a farmer mm. in the Wokoko digging he knows that there is road construction at and, UTC Lira and I can get someone it in Kitugum someone in Zombo someone mm. in Teso he knows that you know Lira is now on roads okay so now what we are now uh, trying to emphasize on hmm. is to ensure that whatever we talk is now into practice. We can and say that's the level we are at. I love that principle. When 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 Abbas speaks about this, this gives confidence and yes, trust yes, yes, yes. in a country that is actually looking at centers of excellence and all. When we look at this, 
you use the word that was market demand yes mm -hmm. the market driven and again he alludes to the same and the same happens to bosa mm -hmm. that you just don't produce students because i mean they have to be there mm -hmm. but you produce as per the demand of the market yes please when you look at the students as and when they come previously technical work was seen for the failures yeah. for lack of a better word yeah they would say because you failed senior four because you failed senior six mm -hmm. you branched off here mm -hmm. does the market demand understand what it means to to bring out a fully qualified engineer on the road and do they appreciate it in terms of remuneration for now well uh, one thing i should say is that uh, the perception of uh, technical education as uh, uh, a, an area for failures is eroding out of people's minds. Correct, and that is why it is. This is evidenced by the our enrollment. Mm. Uh, UTC Lira uh, has been previously, before I think the SDP, we, we, we could have about 500 students, but we are now having over 1,000. Oh, so the demand is there. The perception has ch changed, mm -hmm. and uh, we see industry beginning to appreciate. Mm. Why? Because it is involved in. Uh, curriculum development and we also want to engage them further so that they are involved even in the assessment mm -hmm. because even you be table itself went to was assessing the first course we told them please involve the industry to come and uh, look at the roads the students have made assess is mm -hmm. it the, the, the real thing that is required out of there mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, we are going going forward we, uh, the, the, the the entire community is appreciating mm -hmm. that technical education is no longer for the failures Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 sometimes we, some of us talk as uh, living testimonies. Mm -hmm. uh, I started with the, as a bricklayer. Whoa. Uh, in Kijamba, Jacob, no, in no, 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 let's, let's go slow. <laughs> yeah. You're now the principal of Lira TC. Yes, I started as a bricklayer. In some, Kichwamba. In Kichwamba as a bricklayer, and that is 19, uh, 1995. Okay. And then uh, went for uh, for. A technical education. Uh -huh. Then I wanted to run off, did the bachelor's in, uh, in public admin, went back for civil engineering, uh -huh. I'm completing my master's. Wow. So if uh, technical education was for failures, uh -huh. I don't think I would have moved. You wouldn't be all there. And there are very many out there mm. that have gone through technical education. And as a, a college, we want to encourage as many role models as possible to bring, mm. to talk to our students. To, to sometimes we move out to secondary schools mm. as career guide for career mm. guidance mm. and we tell them later engineers are the creators of the whole world mm. because whatever you're talking about is engineering mm. uh, is technical mm. and therefore uh, technical education is no longer for the failures it is for the bright ones it is for the bright ones I and uh, the perception that uh, there are no jobs Mm. We are job creators. I tell you, when I completed uh, my certificate in uh, Ichwamba Brickling, I mm. became a, a, a contractor at the district. Eh. And how many people was, was I employing? Mm. I was even giving money to the, to, uh, to allowance, the district. allowances to the district to come and supervise my work. Wow. I had created jobs. Mm. And uh, that is the perception we want the entire community to really get. I want to dig a little bit deeper, uh, Mr. Jacob. Mm -hmm. While you're still um, being a bricklayer, mm -hmm. You saw a lot the process. You had some friends of yours while at that stage, correct? Yes. It what was. happened to them? Are they some still within the technical uh, industry? Or? Ma majority of them do not pursue the line I took in terms of getting more papers. Why? Uh, why you know? The, 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 the big challenge is that when once you get skills, yes. you begin getting money. So, so and many of them <laughs> got <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> and that's where I wanted to come. Yes. Bosa, <laughs> when you get the skills, you get the money. How does Lira TC maintain that even when you're earning this much sum of money, there is more you can actually achieve in the technical world, as in certified papers and all? How do you keep them grounded? Now, you see, uh, one unique thing with Lira is it's in the city, mm. unlike other technical colleges. Mm. Uh, it's just in the heart of Lira City. Mm. So, uh, you find after people getting skills, they, it's easy. To it, get money to and get to spend. Money and spend. Mm -hmm. Because everything is around, mm. the skills are needed in town. Uh, but we, are, we always encourage, we always encourage, and you like, for me personally, um, mm. I've been in classroom. Mm -hmm. Since uh, 2006, mm -hmm. when I finished, I was co-opted in a part as assistant lecturer. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, somewhere Nufik project came in, then I was sponsored, and um, I got my bachelor's. So when I got out, there was a lot of temptation. Mm. You know, the was money a, was there. The money was there. There was a construction in Northern job. Uganda. <laughs> and there was no deal. Oh. They wanted the engineers. Mm. Then it was uh, like to decide where to be. Because was everywhere road, they were I, calling you. Everywhere they were calling me. Yes. So, but I find like it, I think teaching is passionate. You, like, mm. you want something, mm. really, you don't run away. Correct. Yeah. So uh, our young graduates or our young people who are training, we tell them uh, after getting these skills, mm -hmm. uh, you you know you need to 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 to, to also train them, tell them how to handle mm -hmm. uh, those challenges, mm. the money, money vis-a-vis -vis the skill, the skill and work. Yeah, and a number of uh, my young people, you know, mm. and uh, you know, as I, as I said, the money, money. If you don't know how to manage, yes, it's also not a good thing. That's unfortunate. So people. money opens up the true color of who you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now here we had we had uh, Jacob here, the principal. Mm -hmm. He was earning a lot of money, but he had he had focus yeah. more than his peers, yeah. and he thrived. On your end, you talk to them, but Bossa, beyond talking to them, do we have? Um, off the technical work that you sit down and you talk as men, as engineers, and you give them the map of life. Because um, uh, me personally, <coughs> as in, uh, I'm a member of Ugandan Institute of Professional Engineers, mm. and we are lucky we have a branch in Lira mm. that is the, uh, one of the we have six branches. Mm. Others are in Barara, uh, Jinja, Bali. They just had elections last year. So now, uh, mm. as a way of uh, Mentoring them, we mm. bring them to senior engineers, okay. professionals. Nice. We always have outreaches. Mm. We invite the, 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 the engineering body to mm. come and tell them other aspects of life. Of, of life. Mm. Leave alone the engineering. Mm. So with that, we have always, uh, they have always um, mm. developed with that ca career kind of. I because you know, they will tell you you are now going to. To qualify as a technician, mm -hmm. but what next? You'll have the money. What next? Mm -hmm. Other aspects of life is there. Mm. Leave alone only what? Engineering. Mm. One, you need to do things professionally. Mm. You need to be under some umbrella, mm. uh, professional umbrella, that is like UIPE, such that when you're doing your practice, mm. you, 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 and maybe an error mm. happens, you are protected by a professional body. Yeah, yeah. you so know where mentoring, to go. Yes, you mm. know where to go. So wow. we always come in and we invite them for our social events and we invite them. And I think they're coping up and they appreciate. And they're learning. Yes. Friends, if you're just joining us, this is Skills for Success, a conversation part by the Minister of Education and Sports, Skilling Uganda and the World Bank. Abbas, yes. what are some of the courses does Lira Technical College offer? Uh, and th they go for how long? Thank you, mm. Andrew. Uh, maybe before I also go to, to the courses. Mm. You want to talk about the money? Oh, so we have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think now for us as a strategy, yes. as, as, as college, we also want to focus more on skills first. I love that. We want to run away from paper accumulation. Mm. And we focus so much on, on skills. On the skill again, yes. And that's the area we are now putting more focus under our career guidance sensitization. Mm. Not to only. Uh, the trainees that we bring, mm. but also to our instructors to be more competent. Mm -hmm. You see, when skills, when you have skills, automatically money will, will, will come, come through. Because mm. there's some money that comes accidentally, the first skills. <laughs> mm. If it diverts you, before you go and swim into the whole river where there is a lot of money, money is. to sit on this high table, <laughs> <laughs> you will be... You, you'll have lost. So we, yes. we, we always encourage our... Yeah learners mm. have skills and that's what the problem this country has mm. accumulation of papers yeah correct you have a first degree mm. you are not employed again you got the master in unemployment yeah. <laughs> i will continue i will continue until i get it that's why our focus <laughs> <in> our <laughs> <laughs> so we want to bring people back and we encourage yes. even those people who have bachelor's and yes. phds mm. and you don't have skills a skill yes that please come and get skills first mm. then now the money will find you on table correct and you'll sit on the table mm. of bosses mm. so that is what i, I wanted to, to i love put that some, it has actually gone so well mm. emphasis on mm. so i think now um, the courses coming back to you to mm. your question mm. Also, we had the challenge, maybe before I go to the courses, mm. we had the challenge still of attitude. I brought that scenario because mm. I want to explain the courses. Mm. You see, in Uganda, is where you find someone say, I have very good courses at UTC Lira. 
But this is one, you will get a job and say, would that allow me to go to Makerere? He cannot even ask how much will I be paid. So, we, we so the mindset the is mindset tuned is that is if it's not a university, exactly. it is not worth it. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. So, but we have very good, beautiful courses. Mm. I want to start with these ones under USDP, mm -hmm. uh, under, under roads. Mm. We have topography and land surveying. Mm. Uh, and we did a lot of benchmarking mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, uh, consultation. Mm. to come up with these programs. There were a lot of gaps. Mm. In, I want to give you a scenario in, in Mbale. We have a gentleman, a museum who is a surveyor. Mm. But whoever who has the land in Mbale, he has eaten his money. <laughs> because he tells you, if you don't come here and I check for you, you'll buy where there is a road. I <laughs> so it is you to look for him. Not him to look for uh, you. No, no, no. He says, for me, it is like uh, these witch doctors. Eh? Mm. Come, I check for you. If there is no road, you pay. So you will never pay without giving money. And wow. these are why we are coming up with such programs. Mm. We need the surveyors. Land surveyors. Who are certified, yes. Road surveyors. Mm. Where you can easily get a job. You can even do your own work. Mm -hmm. You just need to have skills. That's why I started with skills. Mm. Don't hurry to accumulate papers. Get the skills. So we have topographer and surveying. Mm. And the market is ready and available. You just need the relevant skills. Mm. Sit somewhere. People will come for you. Does not want a land title in Uganda. <laughs> even, Everyone does. Even if you go to Guru, even mm. in swamps, people mm. are selling a smaller portion. They need a land the title. Yes. So the market is already there. Mm. Then we have road construction. Mm. The road is a problem everywhere. Oh my God. We just need, and you see, we have a challenge under these roads. When we're doing a survey, mm. we moved in companies. Find that most consultants are not from here. Yeah, and you know what it foreign. means by paying a consultant mm. who is from, say, Portugal, Motenji, Capital coming fight. on your mm. road. The kilometer that you do add about to 10, the mm. money goes into paying mm. a consultant. Mm. So if we manage these programs and we have competent people mm. and we own our own projects, mm -hmm. even the love of working on your own project when you're a national, mm. you do with a lot of love. Mm -hmm. So we need more people to be trained in roads. Because we need road technicians. Mm. We have materials and soil testing. Even these buildings you are seeing who have problems in Kampala here. Yeah. They are not testing the materials. They just well. build. Yes. Mm. So and every construction company needs a, a, a technician for testing the soils, mm. the strength of the aggregates, etc. Mm. So we have also, we need people. We need to produce competent people who are going to help us to do material that testing. That bit of testing, yes. Yes, mm. for both roads, construction, and others. Then the bridge. Eh? We were the talking bridge. about to Calvert. What is this happening people in Kampala? Yeah, when it rains, you find someone's roads, my beautiful suit. Eh. It is eh. <laughs> drainage everywhere. The drainage is bad. Yes. So what we need is the right attitude. The problem mm. in our country, even the people have been producing, they don't know that these courses are hands-on. We still have the other belief of a white collar job. job. Mm. I'm in a technical college, I want to be a district engineer. It can't happen. But uh, even <laughs> your house at home, mm. you have brought someone to build a kitchen for your mother. Yet and you, you can completed the UTC, and me, I want to be a district engineer. <laughs> that is where we have a challenge. Oh, yes. A correct attitude, and also people understand that the course I have come for mm. is hands-on. So the other mentality of cleanliness must go away. Oh, By yeah. the way, Andrew, I want to inform the public, mm. money is in the informal sector. No, you know. That's why I'm a muntu I want to see typically that. Yeah. <laughs> if a, a taxi driver mm. goes home with 100,000 every day, yes. he has reported to his bosses. They just don't know how to use money. Mm, correct. And the the in Guinea, in his started days, he goes mm. with 600,000. Mm. But by society setting, Mm. A taxi driver thinks a district engineer is better than him. Don't you think, Abbas, that um, I love that you bring the issue of, um, of, of finance there. Don't you think that there is a mindset about finance that we have not grasped as a country? That because a taxi tout and a driver, they know they're getting money every day. And the district engineer knows this project is lasting for five years. I mean, I'm getting every day. And then we spend as much as God knows how. Yes. That could be the problem. Yeah. We, we, they had, we have about two, two, two serious challenges. Mm. The first one is that, uh, you see, this money that comes 
Accident. The problem in this country is that we don't do things to please ourselves. Yes. We do things to please others. Mm. One day I was at um, Superior Motors here as a student of mechanical. I was entering a taxi. Incidentally, mm. I got him with a, a conductor. Mm. The boy ran away. Oh he stood dear. across the other side of going to Untin. <laughs> because he thinks eh, the, the, the peer has seen me yeah. and yet he conducted. Mm. I went and pulled him and said, what you are doing is your profession. Of course, yes. You know. You did not. mechanical engineering. Mm. You have to start like this mm. until you become a driver. Mm. And that's why we are producing mechanical students and you don't find them on the road driving cars. Mm. The mindset the is mindset. the other side. Why? How will Andrew look at to me? me. Public that perception. I'm in KCC working on a drainage mm. with my diploma. But I mean, that is your skill you have. You know, your that, that is what we are handling, the mindset. I, I, I come back to you, Jacob. Yes, please. The conversation is getting more heated up, and I love this. Mm -hmm. He talks about the mindset. Yeah. Let's talk about the local content. Mm -hmm. The government of Uganda said that we need to have local content. We need to appreciate, you know, local producers, local engineers in these farms. Yeah. The roads that are in Imbali, we ran a story, I think, like three days ago. <laughs> yes. The ones in Imbari, the one of the locals said, yes, we love to give local competence, da, 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 mm -hmm. but we don't think we are ready. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to come to you. Mm -hmm. As a principal leading an institute that actually majors in construction, especially bridges and roads, mm -hmm. what are we not getting right? Why do we have quick and shoddy engineers in the industry? Maybe they are masquerading, maybe they are purporting to be and they are not. But we are getting a lot of shoddy roads here. Yet we have a competent institute mm -hmm. that actually, you know, graduates great engineers there. Well, one thing I can say, mm. as he says, as Abbas says, mm. it is about attitude. Mm -hmm. Majority of our people uh, don't, uh, they, 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 want, they, they have this syndrome of uh, get rich quick. Okay. And they forget that they are killing their professions. Mm. And you know, many times, uh, our engineers, you know, the kind of training we have been getting previously, mm. I think has been somehow lacking. Mm. That is why there are all these reforms. The reforms are addressing, one, the attitude. Then two, they are addressing issues of skills. Well, because you know, I will be, I, I will be very, very open. Many mm. times you go to some of these universities, mm. you will find uh, if somebody has to, to, to do practicals, it is just maybe once in a whole week, mm. and yet much of his work is is practical. practical. Yes. So I think that has been lacking. Mm. But also there are some good engineers within the country mm. who have the right attitude, the right the right uh, the right uh, perception mm -hmm. about work. Mm. So I think what has been what is killing us most most, most in Uganda is they get rich, rich quickly, mm. and then also uh, one other thing is. Uh, some people, some of the the job givers themselves sometimes give conditions mm -hmm. which are, uh, are uh, they, you, they give a job with the strings attached, mm. and sometimes you, it compromises the quality. Mm -hmm. it compromises quality. I mm. may not have the evidence, mm. but somewhere <laughs> you, you, you know, in this country, especially at NTV, we bring it as it is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> when we are talking about um, the reason, possibly, story where we have show details, it could be the kickbacks. Yeah. It could be, um, you but know, me, I'm protected by the lot, at least I can speak this. Mm -hmm. It could be the kickbacks, it could be the attitudes, but again, we have a lot of, should I call it sidelining, that the foreigners seem to be taking a big chunk of our, of, of our space? Uh, that couldn't be a, p a big problem, because mm. if, we're, we are, if we are very competent, we would be selling ourselves. Correct. We would be selling ourselves, but one other thing that I, I noticed that uh, uh, majority of our people don't they get the papers but they don't want they just want to jump on work before getting the right skills, skills. this is why we are emphasizing as uh, an institution to mm. our instructors mm. there is a program uh, back to industry mm. yes you have been teaching as a lecturer mm -hmm. but uh, technologies are changing mm -hmm. go back to industry and get the right skills to mm. impart to the students mm. so many times when somebody uh, graduates he will tell you, I graduated five years ago, ten years ago, mm. and I'm, in, I'm an engineer.
within here. But times, mm. technologies have changed. Years ago. Have, have you gone <laughs> for yes. some refresher course? Refresher course? Mm. Uh, have you done that? what it takes for you to be on the road mm. as the right technician and the right engineer? Mm. See, so those that's where we are lacking. Mm. And Maybe, I, Andrew, I wanted mm. to, 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 to chip in what the principal just said. Mm. I think when it comes to... Uh, I want us first of all to own it mm -hmm. because we are as we Ugandans are, we are the manufacturers yes. of the skills that are needed. Correct. But like we presented earlier, our problem has been we've been having gaps mm. in terms of curriculum which is relevant. Mm. Th that's why you see that the market demand, demand is what, what, fit for what, purpose. It may not mm. be like maybe kicking mm. backside and what and what. Mm. But the curriculum itself to address the real real training mm. has been a challenge. Mm. And that's why when we were visiting some of these cultures, those are the areas we were looking at. Mm. You'll find that the training, someone like a civil engineer, mm. you touch roads for one, three months, you touch bridge for three months, you touch this one. You're the everywhere. concentration has been lacking. Mm. We have been studying no, a lot mm. of knowledge, but scanty. Mm. And that's what the problems we have down there. Mm. That's why now that we are now saying, let's concentrate. It is good if you are come, you are now saying, I'm for bridge. Mm. Start the bridge and understand them. And then for it. us as training institution, uh, that's why we stand firm to thank a government. I told you before, mm. even principals confessed the training was theoretical. Yeah, theoretical and yes. those are the people that you are seeing, the embarrassed story, what mm. and what. That's now we are going to the drawing board. And in this culture, we are very technical and very strategic. We now say, okay, fine. Skills, we may not have all the equipment to mm -hmm. give the necessary competences, mm -hmm. but can you include for us the means of transport in the equipment list? That's oh. why you saw the bus, the van. So, so that whenever we works. need a certain mm. skill, mm. competences, mm. because when we were designing this curriculum, we discovered that in the developed country, we've just been for benchmarking in France, mm. people stay in the industry, yeah. so you need to stay in the industry Correct. more than they would stay in the classroom. Mm. Let him come and say that two, three days we have a problem with testing aggregate. Where can we get material sent to Labu Kereka? Mm. Drive very fast that weekend, you give them that skill. Mm. So that is, those, all those ones will be addressed under now this new curriculum. We mm. shall now come here and answer those issues, they should they work <laughs> after two, three years. Because now we have no reason. The good thing I'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not still going to have the conversation. Yes. But Andrew, yes, uh, supplement, eh? mm. uh, uh, what I've also seen mm. after. Uh, getting the right skills mm. when you go to the industry to mm -hmm. practice I think there's a lack of uh, maybe policy there's no control okay finding somebody most of these uh, developers the rich men mm -hmm. so you find uh, is uh, given a contract mm. to construct a certain road a hundred million dollars a hundred million dollars mm. and uh, it's after profit it's not after mm. so sometimes our uh, some of these people get a challenge uh, the, 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 the industry itself mm. is not that being well regulated regulated mm. well anyone can do anything at any time t uh -huh. yeah there's nothing like uh, if i am doing this uh, maybe you need to get do you have the skills to do that okay. sometimes you find uh, some people just getting in and doing work at the end of the day Maybe material not tested, the levels are not taken, and, mm. and it moves. Things. So, and so, and so and that regulation bit needs to like be enforced. Like a law that you would go to first of all, ROTC, mm -hmm. for you to practice. Oh, okay. The nurses, you have to go to through nurses council, yes. to get a certificate, for the they renew every year. For, for the engineers, but there is an association you just that have does. money, start yes. to uh, the so that's what I was saying. you be. Yeah. I'm a member of UIPE. Yes. Uh, you know. just had elections last year. Yeah, so as a vice, a vice president, a, a, a vice chairperson for Lira branch. Yes. That's why we every time emphasize, uh -huh. and actually we are trying to bring other stakeholders in the construction industry Correct. to understand mm -hmm. how the industry is supposed to what to, to operate. To operate, because there are a lot of uh, messes. Mm. Yeah, so through the body, we are mm -hmm. trying to really bring in. I love that, and I've seen your president Andrew Mohoy, yes, so you know, being at the forefront yeah. of doing this. Yes. Um, let's now talk about innovation, Bosa. Earlier on, Jacob alluded to refresher courses, going back and you acquaint yourself with the new knowledge, new dynamics, new skills into the construction, especially roads and bridges and civil engineering. How is Lira embracing the old technology and the new innovations coming in sync for the better good? Uh, as I said, um, uh, we came from a long, uh, uh, very far. Uh, Lira, um, through this this kind of training that we are, we are having, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, as Abbas was saying, we have uh, uh, tried to. This, first of all, the curriculum that we are using mm. is not like um, developed by our own. 
We did a lot of consultation. Yeah, As I talk now, action. there's an institution advisory committee mm. that uh, oversees how the train is ongoing. Mm. So we have brought Wanda on board, we have Minister of Works, mm -hmm. we have consultants, we have contractors. Mm -hmm. That once in a while they come and see how what, the, doing? what we are doing. Mm. In case we lack a skill set from the instructor, the, the people that support us, we will mm. get somebody who has that skill in Wanda or Minister of Works or whatever mm. to come and what? Give that particular scale mm. so those innovations are not like uh, we are owning we are trying to if the thing is open mm -hmm. then they want the skills mm. to be imparted to what the learners mm. not restricted so all those uh, kind of innovation is uh, uh, being got from what from other stakeholders mm. yes maybe andrew mm. there is something very unique uh, that uh, deputy was mentioning i just mm. want to put my emphasis you see when we when the, the our training pattern mm. uh, came I want to be very open. Uh, they asked me to give them a form of uh, industrial assessment. Yeah. When we go with to assess students. Mm -hmm. Then I showed them, they read through, and then I was like, hey, okay, now this content, this data, Yeah. who consumes it? None. Because you have gone to industry, they have said he was absent on Tuesday, mm. he lacks these skills, mm. he's good at this. And I see improved. Take this mm. data? I had no answer. Oh so dear. immediately they told us that for us in Canada, mm. we have what we call industrial advisory committee. Mm. We need to live later when we have formed a vibrant industrial advisory committee. That has comprising all of all trades. Mm. We have surveyors, bridges, mm. roads, mm. and material testing groups. Their, their aim is one. Every time we do an assessment, we can to present this to them. They play the role of advising us on what current technology is, is in, the, in the market. Mm. They go and say, now, these learners are lacking these competences. Because they work and with them. And we mm. need to use mm. them to redesign a new curriculum. Even this curriculum we are talking about, mm. at the time, technology will grow. Mm. And mm. we have to design and put Again. new technologies. Mm. You cannot have a, a curriculum of five years static. Correct. Like this one, we are running at about 20 years. Mm. We need it to be innovative. Evolving, yeah. That's why we go there. What is new in the industry? Mm. Ah, now the industry wants to surveyors. And how often does this committee sit? We have given them every semester. Mm. We normally have a meeting to brief mm. them of where we are now. How long is the semester? Four months. Four months. Four months. Yes, because That's even these really short courses are mm. for four months without industrial training. Mm. So when they go to industrial training, it goes to about six months. Mm. So we need to update them regularly. That's what was explained that no, we now have a vibrant industrial advisory committee mm. as a new innovation. And I want to assure you that um, we, we are moving ahead. Mm. We have gone through this curriculum design and we have understood even all the gaps in the previous curriculum. Nice. We are making a write-up and we are going to redesign even our existing curriculum. Mm. For example, if I need someone to uh, uh, attend TV, mm. I need a news anchor. You, of course, are going to find them. I need to look him. for someone who has a degree. What and what. I bring Andrew three months, ask him what do you need to do. And, and then person. we move. Yes, yeah, so that is uh. the, the first innovation. Mm. The other one is constantly mm. visiting industries, Correct. not only to look for placement. Mm. We don't allow the principal to sit in office. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. We shall listen our principal is also as he entered the back of biting people. We tell him, go to industry and talk to people. We shall want places tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Because the issue should be, college must, must not be disconnected from industry. From the community and the industry. Yes. Because when we do that one, they'll forget what we have. Of course. Then, you then we organize more. these breakfast meetings with mm. media mm. to showcase what we have. And those are the strategies, the new innovation we are bringing on board. I that love it, it. it. We shall keep the public uh, informed to of the speed what of the happening. innovations. Oh, yes. Well, the conversation is about skills for success. We're talking about Technical College of Lira. Now, this conversation is under the skills training, Uganda, and powered by the Minister of Education and Sports, not forgetting the World Bank. What we have heard about the skills and the money that is in the engineering. If you're one of those Ugandans who is saying that I've failed to actually get a job, when you have a bachelor's degree, how about you get a skill? How about that? Think about that. We'll take a break for now, and when we return, I'll be sampling some of your feedback off the digital platforms. The hashtag is skills for success. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you.
Ifokia, who got his first diploma from Uganda Technical College, Elgon, can quickly find a job. Okezia, who did a short baking course at Wakalasa Agricultural College, can start her own business. And Kato, who got certification in mechanics, can earn a steady income. Then so can you. Your situation can change for the better. All in a potential, enroll in any certified TVET institution and get the right skills to start a new career today. For more information, visit our offices at the Ministry of Education and Sports or our website at www.education.go.ug. You can also call us on 0417-893-600 or 0414-257-038 or 0417-893-701. Good afternoon, and if you're just joining us, this is uh, the Skills for, Success, Skills for Success show, powered by the Ministry of uh, Education and Sports, as well as Skilling Uganda and the World Bank. My name is Andrew Chamagero in studios with me. I have the principal of Lira Technical College, uh, Mr. Jacob with us. We have the BOSA, who happens Bongo. to be the deputy. Bongo, called Bongo. Bongo, who happens to be the deputy of uh, the college. And we have Abbas, who happens to be the public relations officer. A couple of you have sent us feedback here on Twitter. I said, just drop me the hashtag skills for success, and I can capture what you're saying. Uh, in Saint Shomunyankole says, thanks to the NRM government, I'm sure this will be the only achievement this year, empowering technical schools and Perfect. colleges. Matigo Bolohane says, let schools know how your NEB will set the final paper before it's too late. Provide the sample exams, just like the technical institutions are actually doing. Another message here comes in from another Ugandan who says, this is a great conversation. Problem is, I'm now in my second year <laughs> in a theoretical <laughs> course. Well, thank you so much for whatever you actually say. But, I mean, it's not too late. For skill, you can get done with that bachelor's or diploma yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. and then you can join us for the skills. Mm. Um, coming back to our conversation here, I want to, I want to pick from you, uh, Principal. Mm. Before we went for the break, um, Abbas alluded to something called job placement mm. and internship. Yes. How does Lira get there? What is your strategy? How do you go about that? Well, uh, during the, when, when we are going for job placement, mm -hmm. there is a period we send our the, the entire uh, lecturing staff mm -hmm. to go to industry, we facilitate them, and so to send some money mm -hmm. with that facilitation. Then the entire management team also moves there. But also through our industry advisory committee, mm -hmm. we get these places. We get moving it, where? Moving <laughs> to industries, okay. various industries all over the country, mm -hmm. looking for placement. And uh, the ad industry advisory committee has b played a very big role okay. uh, that it has linked, us linked our students to very many potential uh, training grounds mm -hmm. for our students. And uh, I think that has been the big strategy. Mm. Having the industrial advisory committee has helped a lot. Because uh, some institutions that mm -hmm. do not have the industrial advisory committee still face a big challenge of mm. placing their students. Mm. And uh, I think we want to thank industries that have always taken up our students mm. for industrial training. And uh, uh, in the process, we also follow up in terms of to, to assess okay. uh, with the assessment body, that is UBTEB. Mm. And uh, we have always got uh, good results and good uh, relations with the, with the industry. I love that. Mm. Um, when you say that you work hand in hand with um, with that committee that brings together all stakeholders into this, mm. I want to know, and this is a question I saw online, mm. what is the probability, because this is about job creation. Yes. Now we have the skills. It goes back to the mindset. People want to study something, they're, they're sure there is going to be a job yes. for it. Mm. And your case, you're saying that we are not training you to get a job. We're training you to create. start your own, to create your own. Yeah, yeah. How do you achieve that after internship? Because some internships, people be like, um, in case you're done, you can come back. So how do you make sure that they possibly don't fall for the job but go and create one? Well, we, we, we have a follow-up mechanism, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, I'm forgetting the word. Yes, what's the studies? No. 
Yeah, tracer studies. Tracer studies. Mm. So whoever has left the college, we do some tracer. We have records, mm -hmm. and then we follow up. Where are you? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we follow up even with industry. Mm. This gentleman is here. Mm. What is it that is lacking? Okay. And then uh, the only challenge has been that sometimes when you tell somebody that you know you are lacking, you seem you need you need to come back for some retraining. Mm. If it is waste of time. Okay. Uh, definitely, t t training is not free. Mm. You must come and pay. It. So I finished my course, and many of them end up uh, remaining at that level. But uh, we have always encouraged them that you know if you are lacking a skill, mm. you're in industry, please come back for retraining. Mm. Yeah. And they go also, back. Andrew, to supplement. Mm is that we are training for industry. Correct. So when someone gets an opportunity to be retained mm. in the industry, it's fine. It is to our advantage. Mm. But the other emphasis on starting up something job creation is yes. is we want the cycle to continue. Because mm. now for if you are working there, but you can also again start a carpentry workshop, you will employ another one. Mm. So that the pressure from me who is in charge of placement and this yeah, it reduces. Really down, yes. So that the cycle is we create more. So jobs. the ecosystem has to be exactly. Okay. But if you are retained, mm. it is to our advantage because we are training for industry. Like now currently, mm. uh, we have uh, uh, most, I, I think it's it, uh, which district you have now given us students who are, whom we are training. Mm. I think Dokolo. Dokolo. They are now bringing the engineers for That's some nice. competent mm. skills. Mm. Mm. You see? Uh, and the, and they're having refresher courses. Exactly. And that one also is helping us for placement because when you come and see what we are doing, we always say student. Of course. Now we sweet talk when we you. send you, a, you an alumni. Uh -huh. <laughs> we sweet talk you to add us uh -huh. more. So yes. the other one is to, to say that, you know, mm. we can do both business mm. and also service. Mm. You can do both. And, and, and I think that, well, that's what is lacking in our country. The business aspect, people have left it out. Mm. That's why we even have uh, entrepreneurship Lagging as a module mm. in our new curriculum. Oh, so that okay. we train you for both. Okay. Should the other one fail, you, you start in this back. one. Mm. But the best person is the one who does both. Both entrepreneurship exactly. and skill. I have my saloon somewhere, mm. but I'm also working at the district. Okay. Exactly. Uh, we still have feedback coming in uh, on, um, on on YouTube here. A couple of people sending in messages. Thanks for the wonderful program. Christine Maliko watching live from Zombo district. Uh, we have uh, Damali Namhoma. We are proud to be part of the mighty college of Lira. Oyuko Dickens viewing live from UTC Lira. Thank you so much. Chembo Gola Isaac says, I'm proud of UTC leader. Well done with the work you're doing in your office. That is remarkable. Watea Fred says that um, TVET must stand high as we keep pushing forward. Thanks for the team, uh, the COE uh, leader cluster. We are viewing the program. And then uh, Weekly Boka Okoda. Proud of the achievements brought by the government of Uganda through the World Bank. Uh, prayers that more of these investments in TVET program transform this country. Bongo. Yes. These are your students. Some are within your communities. Some actually understand this. Let's talk about inclusion. How does LIRA as a whole college involve those with disabilities? Uh, thank you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this program uh, is uh, non-discriminative mm -hmm. in a way that um, if somebody has a problem, uh, first of all, uh, by virtue that somebody has that weakness mm -hmm. and has applied, automatically we take in that person. Automatically? So, automatically. What are the yardsticks? Are, are the, they are prerequisites the, 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 the qualification mm. to, to join is very simple. You must have only got what? A certificate mm. in any of these engineering courses. Certificate, mm. maybe craft one, mm. you, are, you are good to go. So when I'm a senior four, senior six dropout, I don't qualify. You don't qualify mm. because of the nature of the training. Mm. Yeah, you need for us to have at least some engineering background. Mm. So we have been um, having it in that uh, anyone with a disability or mm. whatever, we automatically include. That Detectives. meets the minimum qualification to, to join. That is nice. Abbas, yes. where are the women here? You're all men. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's talk about the gender issue. Does Lira training technical college allow women to equally come into this in the era where we are we of gender equality <laughs> and gender balance you didn't bring any woman here 
Yeah, uh, mm. Andrew, we, we have very many. The world is watching us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We have very many guards in this program. But maybe, okay, I wanted also to, 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 to supplement the inclusion what, is. Uh, mm. what uh, my senior deputy said. Mm. For now, we are now saying these are skills based. Mm. But since the curriculum is new, we are piloting it with people with some engineering background. Okay, as the, we the ones with the disabilities. The, no, I mean mm. the entry requirement. Okay, what okay. was like, a, mm. your question was, do you take someone senior four or six? Mm. Of course, we shall have to take them. Mm. But since the curriculum, at this level, we've just finished, and it is at the first stage of implementation. Mm -hmm. As we study it, we started with piloting it with people with some engineering background. background. Okay. As we studied the content, mm. can the other one manage? What can we add? Which area can we simplify? Mm. Because the curriculum is still under review because mm. it is it is new Correct. so at some point uh, we we don't want to miss that market of senior four and senior six mm. we are still studying the curriculum mm. now when it comes to to, to gender gender, gender mm. and also disability they almost move together the affirmative action mm. Mm. we I, I, first of all, at UTC, especially when we have two categories of scholarships, mm -hmm. we have this one where we give people who have finished senior four and go through a certificate who are upgrading mm. at our college. Whenever a girl applies, it is almost, unless if I'm not there. Mm. Oh, that is my work. I say, mm. give to a lady because I need very many of them. Yeah. And we are now at about 300. Mm. Well, percentage is yes. That's nice. Yeah, mm. we are moving seriously. Mm. Although the boys, they are running very fast, but you know, it is a mindset. <laughs> 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 we are moving somewhere yes, yes but also uh, when we are designing like uh, structures uh, mm. washrooms classroom accessibility mm. we mm. have ramps on all our buildings to encourage people with disability to, to access, access the workshops mm. what and what freely mm. so that one it was it is an affirmative action which we cannot run away from i know we, I we ensured it must be there mm. so gender we, we are small it may be in the teaching fraternity okay but for students there are very many and uh, about still again about the teaching fraternity i'm 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 still with you abasson here mm -hmm. what does it take to recruit female tutors and instructors i i think the challenge th there is nothing unique that it takes it is the normal procedure but uh, the challenge also has been that you know previously most you know the points that bring someone to technical uh -huh. they are the same point that takes someone to nursing correct and uh, we also added that one that's why we are doing a lot of career guidance and in the secondary changing. schools okay yeah, to change that mm. we say now the points your past sciences but all of you are flooding the other side nurses, of yes. nursing because mm. they know nursing 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 mm. so that one has been affecting our side this oh. number uh, the curve is uh, disappearing yeah. from there yes the nurses people are hitting us to zero mm. but now we have invaded schools we need more lobbying uh, we have we have brochures <laughs> we have what and now we want to, we in these schools we have even put what we have done like in admissions like for mm. us in leader uh, like in Kampala here even where wherever you are you need not to come to the college correct uh -uh. Mm. we have officers at job offices those who are applying from Kampala you just go there mm. we have an office at uh, Masaka mm. uh, there is a um, Budu FM yes we have a branch there yes. so our applicants go there mm. but we do all this because we are trying to put strategies to ease access oh, to yeah, the to services to. such that people don't move a far distance and maybe that mm. strategy will help us to attract more girls mm. because now if they are only those who are not work then secondly mm. we had the challenge with the infrastructure Okay. Before we got these dormitories, before we got the classrooms, mm. even you and you do drive with your daughter there and just say, hey, this is why she's going to sleep. No, no, then no. You, just no. Say, ah, ah, eh. you try nursing. <laughs> in the wrong place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so th this project, uh, when mm. you look at it, it has addressed all those issues. Mm. Now, when you look at where our girls are sleeping, actually we get a challenge. Just I don't want to go back home. Yeah, they so want they to say, stay. Ah, maybe I just remain here <laughs> and continue with the higher diploma. Because now the, the, the infrastructure the facilities is attractive. You know, now mm. education has Change. Remember, we picked these people of past sciences mm. from very good first class schools mm. in Kampala. Here. Maintaining them? Maintaining it's them. Yeah, they are from very good. Because someone mm. passed physics, mm. mathematics, chemistry. Mm. And then you now going to take him to, no? Mama Ingea Poli. Mama Ingea Poli. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very big challenge why I, I, girls have been running away I, from I, I love that. Um, the principal Jacob here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about partnerships. Mm -hmm. What are some of the key partnerships as uh, Leader TC achieved over the years? I'm just super proud of them that with these we have 
made very great strides because of this kind of partnerships and all? Well, one of which, uh, when we talk about partnerships mainly, mm. we've been uh, focusing mainly on uh, on uh, how we train, where we train from, especially industrial training. Correct. So we have been uh, entered in partnerships with the UNRWA, mm. with the local governments. So I may not be particular because mm. uh, we cut across the entire country. Correct. So local governments, then uh, some private companies, mm. very many private companies have, uh, have entered into partnerships and we are yet to enter into more, especially now that we even have equipment that we need to use for training with production. Mm -hmm. We enter into a partnership with, say, UNRWA. Yes, you have a road to make. Uh, can you facilitate the fuel? Can mm. we bring our students? And then we learn from the road, but also make your own. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of partnerships you are now looking at. Mm. Training with production. Mm. So we have, I can't say, be, be in the particular particular that I have this we have, but we have very many MOUs signed mm. with the various companies private companies both public and private okay yeah. that gives us more strength uh, yeah. bongo yeah. actually well, mm. let me supplement on principles yes. mm. uh, submission of late you know Lira mm. is known for having the city itself of it's known of having bad roads Hmm. I don't know you have you I was coming there that that was my <laughs> question but now the the TC is at the heart of Lira mm -hmm. but the roads are bad yes. what could be the problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, of course um, I think uh, the project is going to address that mm -hmm. we have uh, brought in the major and his team mm -hmm. the city engineer they all they get fund from the government mm -hmm. but they lack equipment because the equipment, the, 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 the few have been taken by the district. Because now they separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The district went city to some village. City is independent, yes. Yeah, city is independent, but they have a lot of challenge. So we came together and discussed how best we can both work together. Work together Using the same our equipment. Mandates. Our mandate is training. Mm. Then for them, they have a down mandate. So we're saying, why don't you uh, use the equipment and expertise we have, plus the training, mm. as the students are working, learning. are learning, they are also making your road perfect. Mm. So with that, I think, slowly, slowly, the, mm. the face of Lira, city roads will be It's changed, going to change. change yeah. And still... Uh, Andrew, let's mm. summarize on that one for the mm. public to get us very clear. Mm. We discovered that when we don't do training and production, mm. we shall go back and begin producing. The other graduates that are giving you... The one that are mastering the... Uh, those, are that are, those are not are giving you work that these roads have issues. <laughs> now we discovered that, and we cannot throw the whole burden to the government. Correct. But the equipment... By the way, equipment usage is mm. also maintenance policy. That, uh, now, for your case, I wanted to know, um, as you're answering that, I want you to ca carry this along. This is expensive equipment. Mm. How do we maintain it all year through? And how do we um, upgrade the technology that is there for some of the equipment? You have read about this and until now, this Bowser is not, you know, compatible to the new dynamics of the construction. Yeah. How do you keep up with the times? Thank you, Andrew. Mm. That's what I actually was almost going to explain. Mm. We discovered that you know, if we want to remain relevant mm -hmm. with very quality training, we need to do uh, partnership with the, uh, the city such that we can get opportunity. Mm. If our funding delays but our students are there and they need the skills, mm -hmm. these people come and say, ah, we want to use a grade. I say, can you fuel it? But our students go there and learn the skills. Mm. Now, under maintenance policy, it is a, a government council issue, and I know my deputy will add on, because mm. he has been in it so much, and he's, mm. he's, he's, mm. he's the minister secretary of the governing council. Mm. But uh, for us, what we are looking at is that uh, to maintain this equipment, we have to do training and production. We, the equipment brings something small mm -hmm. for its maintenance tomorrow, mm -hmm. but when the learners are getting skills. The skill, yes. And the, and, the, and, the, and the good thing that we selected the equipment that are, the industry selected for us equipment that are relevant and they are in use. Mm -hmm. When you visit our previous workshops, the old one, you will find the machine there, it has taken three, four years without working. Mm -hmm. So that one, even if you revive it now, now, it, it is already spoiled by just staying there mm -hmm. redundant, not working. Mm -hmm. That's why this time we said, no, no, no. Select for us equipment that will deliver this curriculum. Who are the rightful people? Industry. Yeah. So we brought in industry and these equipments. So if we put them to use indirectly, we shall be 
servicing them because they bring something small. Mm. Maintenance policy will be there. But the most important thing is that the Ugandanese who mm -hmm. own this project, because it's not ours, yes, it's a the members who need skills will be getting the rightful skills. Mm. But I wanted my, my deputy from the governing council. The senior is a mm -hmm. governing council <laughs> member <laughs> on, Shed on more maintenance. Uh, of, of late, we start uh, from Andrew, there. Mm. Uh, there was a gap in policy. Mm. We looked through when the, when the equipment were brought. Mm. But, uh, How you long know, ago was that? Pardon? How long ago was no, that? No, this equipment was supplied, I uh, think, 2021? Mm. Yeah, that, that's when the one who came in. Eh? Mm. But uh, training with production, of course, you need to be guided with some policy. And it was highly lacking. Of course, of late, the TVET policy came in, training mm. with production. Mm. So when we presented this to the council and said, no, the equipment have come, how are we going to maintain it? Then they gave us a green light that, you know, uh, you need to go out and make partnerships. Make partner partnerships. Mm. Yeah, you can go to that's even a construction company. It's lacking maybe a grade, lacking whatever, and work is pushing. You are come and agree. Say so we are going to enter into this, uh, but this percentage will come and keep for maintaining purposes. Mm. Yeah, so the, the, the government council has also given us a green light, and mm. of late the minister also went and all those things were being asked and I said no and I think there's some right up coming up some proposal mm. some uh, some concept officiate in a not way. only for later now mm. for the all these colleges you know he Trump also got for oil and gas yes they need also get a strategy for maintenance mm. and all these other colleges so they want to come up with a um, uh, something that unify all these colleges in maintenance aspect mm. because uh, there was no clear policy on that on that yeah but Andrew mm. the delay for that is we are still building capacity As of our staff mm. because even if we are bringing our grader to work in your company you the driver the what must be for the college and we don't have they own it oh yeah. the machines are ours mm. so the delay will come in as the policy is coming but we are still building capacity of, of the staff our, to be our staff mm. correct we are taking them for capacity building more training such that we know you are driving this, you know government is paying you, mm. should you joke with it? Kitalia. Yeah. <laughs> and not <laughs> just to read the thing, thing, then you go and just I, drive, drive in two, three. Yes, yes, one other thing, yeah. yes, yes, after yes, the equipment was brought, you know there's no serious school, like mm. where you see like a great operator goes to study. Mm. It's very rare. Yeah. Either your uncle or your somebody mm. is an operator takes you there mm. and, and you learn. And you learn with the skills. Yes. Is, yeah, there's not, yeah. uh, you you have to even knock somewhere and then <laughs> somehow you pick up. <laughs> yes. So there's been that press also. Mm. The community saying, why can't I come here and learn and that? So we are thinking over to see how best we can also see like some people can come and do the learning mm. of the, when they're learning, they also and do some work and a short course. Oh. And that's need to go to DIT mm. for the assessment, for certification. Yeah? Mm. yeah, so we are in talks also with DIT and Minister of Works that have qualified trainers. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, something. Bongo, how do you deal with theft? Because these equipments are using a very expensive ones the in the market. So, as we said, the college is in the heart of the city mm. and uh, we don't have, uh, the college has tried to have a wall fence. Mm. Uh, that's through, there's a project that came to FIC, mm. actually before even the, the the USDP. The USDP. Mm. They tried to do some fencing, but of late we have tried to install CCTV cameras on mm. specific locations mm. where in case uh, something flash taken, points eh? we can at least try to track mm. we also have um, uh, employed some private uh, security, security companies okay. that have guns uh, in the night mm. they be where the graders are where the labs are somebody must be sleeping my there. daughter will be safe there <laughs> <laughs> principal so, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's uh, some bit of uh, I, I, I am people. grateful to the security there and all that goes on let's talk about scholarships do you have scholarships and if yes how does one have access to scholarships and when do you release them? Well, as, as an institution, I think the scholarships we, we, we get are from uh, some NGOs, mm. sponsored students okay. with us, like uh, Baylor Uganda, and then uh, we have also Brack, they have Brack. Brack. but also there is the, 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 the government of Uganda loan financing scheme, mm. uh, and that they, they have been getting students, the, the vulnerable people applying, and then eventually they go through their assessment, and then they are uh, they are admitted. We they, they are posted to the to the institution, and we admit them. Mm. And but uh, the, the, the big challenge is that as an institution, we don't have uh, our own. Scholarship, scholarship scheme. Okay. Yeah. No. Mm. Mm. Those ones. But so also mm. maybe Andrew, mm. this one would be good for 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 the viewers to know that uh, 
the first cohort that we are training mm. and the second cohort, mm. all of them have been sponsored by government. The government, 80%. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm. And uh, that is uh, uh, because we need to remind them so that they keep that votes for the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> that, that <laughs> And, and, and we are given up to a tune of 500 students, which is a, a very big milestone. And okay. it will be unfair when we don't appreciate the government Thank you. For, for doing that. And um, I want to come on that very um, level still to you, uh, Jacob. Yeah. How affordable are your fees structures? Well, our fees structures, I think uh, for all of the technical colleges, for the national diploma programs, mm. I think we are the, the, the lowest. Mm. Yeah, compared to the other four, to the other, to the other four technical colleges, mm. and uh, I think that was deliberate because one, we, we want to attract as many as possible, mm. but also we are in uh, northern Uganda was badly hit mm. by the war. If you over hike, it means that you're denying opportunity to for people, people to yeah. come and mm. and study. But generally, what I can say is that technical education is not uh, is not uh, is not cheap. Mm -hmm. Because even when we are talking that it is it is lowest, still people fail to mm -hmm. to pay yeah, in time it. because one there is a lot of instructional materials. There is a lot to buy materials and all that to ensure that the people get real hands-on training. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Abbas, government in this financial year was advised by technical economical advisors to jump from funding to financing. What is the sustainable model of Lira TC to stay sustaining itself as a college? Uh, uh, and still, we want to give credit to, to, to this project mm. because we had the funding that was meant to market institutions. Mm. And I'm telling you, like the principal mentioned earlier, our number gradually spiked, spiked mm. because of the continuous sensitization. Mm. That now, now we are talking about 1,300 students, but when, we, when you pick what the government sponsors, it's about 300. Mm. So we are at the point where we can now, uh, the, the principal can breathe a bit that if mm. the grant delays, this we can, the private students mm. can help us sustain mm. the programs. Okay. And that's how we we are surviving because mm. we need to have a fallback position. Mm. Uh, should now government like uh, now we are moving to financing, but again college you have to run it with money every day. Suppliers mm. are knocking here. Security has told you, you know, security guards are there. You are guy. Every time you get equipment, the budget increases. The expenditure grows. Mm. But the good thing is that uh, we are doing a lot of uh, marketing so that we have more students. That's why we are introducing programs. So from the clip there, we have day, evening, weekend, mm. so that we can have more people. We went to to to, to Meru mm -hmm. for benchmarking when we were designing this curriculum. Mm. And we reached there, and the gentleman told us here that for us here we have 10,000 students. Wow. 10,000. Meru. Meru Polytechnic. Mm. 10,000. But why? They have short courses of two weeks, catering, mm. bakery, mm. Uh, uh, tailoring, uh, beautification, yeah. you know. And, and they get money. Mm. And the gentleman told us for us here, 10,000. Wow. If I don't beat this number, Tomorrow the president will be on my neck because we are skilling Kenyans. Correct. So for us in Uganda, we are still far. We are talking about 1,300. <laughs> and we are boasting <laughs> in the studio. We have done work. Some of us need to be sacked. For no worries. <laughs> but, but, but it's a good journey. It's a good journey. You are talking about it's, it's, it's only 1,000 students. It's, we all start from somewhere. <laughs> Someone said on Twitter that it has been indeed a long journey. Yes, yes. yes. Someone has tweeted and saying engineering graduates work as bankers, medical doctors, possess skills in web and graphics pause and find out why you are demotivated at your job change your mindset rediscover yourself redesign yourself for the future education is not a confinement but an adventure skills for uh, success. success and um, there is another message here saying um, skills for success should be celebrated every day because we use them daily to thrive at work school and life well done, uh, Lira TC. And then Ben on Fred Trinamasiko says that the government should buy road construction equipment so that the students from UTC Lira can construct some roads and bridges during their internship. Just like they have been saying, yeah, that, that kind of uh, uh, partnership helps in a, in a special way. Uh, someone here says, uh, okay. 
I will just read as it is. says that this is a great conversation, but you guys, why is it coming now <laughs> when I'm just starting in a week's time? I've already paid the money. Uh, Benon says, as Amazing. government promotes TVET, it should also provide enough lab equipment and specimen for equipment in basic science in schools and public universities. Uh, thank you so much for that feedback. Then, um, engineer Tracy, eh? Tracy uh, Samuire Peter Philip, he says that this is awesome. I really love this discussion. I remember excelling from this college yeah. in the class of 2016. Yeah. Regards, Mr. Bass, watching live from Kampala. Well done. Thank you so much for being a part of the conversation. And um, not only that, someone here says that uh, now that I know all this, I know where I will be going shortly after my senior six because I am good at, at physics and mathematics. Okay. Let's talk about um, uh, Deputy uh, Bongo there, the Deputy uh, Principal. Let's, let's see about the, the, the prerequisites to enter the college. Because we've had this conversation, we have mm -hmm. not stipulated them adequately for the viewer to understand. So who gets qualified to get into the college and what should they have with them and who doesn't qualify? Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, for this program specifically, mm. because as we said, we have a national diploma, higher diploma, mm. and a short course, this skill. Correct. For roads. Mm. For roads, uh, at first, uh, we had thought of bringing senior four, senior six, mm. but it was a challenge because it skills. Mm. So it needed uh, some bit of basic engineering before you join. So for now, it has made it that uh, uh, the basic or the minimum requirement for uh, entering into this sort of course, you should have a, a, a certificate, could be uh, block line concrete practice, CJ, that's the minimum. Mm -hmm. Up to PhD. Up to PhD, because mm. it's skill, but that's the minimum. Reason why uh, that's the minimum is somebody who has done at least a bit of uh, uh, this, uh, you know, 80% or 90% of the training mm. is actually skills. There are a lot of, nothing like theory, it's just basic theory mm. to maybe give some knowledge. Mm. Like uh, if you are using the equipment, the, the thing of health and safety, mm. it comes in. So that's the kind of thing. But 80% uh, of the work you, is hands on. So it would be a disadvantage to somebody who has never seen, like for me, the total station. Mm. Now we will start asking, what is this for? What mm. you know? <laughs> so it will bring back, it will like drag, it will us, drag back. us back. So yes. you should first have what a minimum exposure, Ex exposure to engineering. Mm. Because even uh, this one should do craft, they go to industry, mm. and in the process of them being in the industry, they got the basic. Okay. So that is the minimum. The minimum. But the maximum is even PhD. Abbas, I was working with um, Mugoya Company Construction. We worked on the Kamoli Road. I was in my senior six vacation then. I know all this equipment, but I don't have certification to prove that I do. Do I qualify to enter the college? <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe before you come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, whereas uh, some of the short courses, especially courses, yes. require some more, some background. Mm background uh, knowledge mm. but also we we have what we we, we are calling identification of prior learning mm -hmm. now if you come and prove to us that you have some uh, basic knowledge mm. like you how you, do i prove now well of course the road is already done oh, oh, of course of course but i took some pictures with me while that <laughs> no of course when we are enrolling you mm. we, we subject to some bit of interviews, interviews. oh before. yes mm -hmm. so that to, to really get to, to what is it that why you know yes well, that why is it you know because uh recently we had a, a, a workshop mm. they were saying you people why are you being very restrictive I can be a nurse, but I want now to become an engineer, an engineer, or to do carvat. Mm. Now, carvat may not require much science. background, in mm. much science. Mm. You come and do your carvat construction, mm. and you go and succeed. Mm. But when it comes to surveying, you must have the basics. Because at some point they are going to, they, 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 they have to apply their, their angles, their mm. what, and you know, if mm. you don't have that prior knowledge, you may not really do what. But through the interviews, if you were on the road mm. and you 
you, you did some, some, some training, on job training, mm -hmm. and you have the basic skills. This identification prayer learning makes you succeed, and then we, you, you, you're good to go mm. for that kind of program. So, so, so Andrew, so since the principal has grabbed my question, mm. let me now. But still, <laughs> I, 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 I was in my senior <laughs> six pack, and I did that, that, that work for like two yeah. years on the road, mm. and here I come, I've watched you guys on TV, I'm excited. Mm. Do I qualify? Yeah, like uh, in his explanation, uh, mm. you do. You see, uh, under skills-based training, mm skills based training apart mm. from particular modules like mm. he's talking about surveying mm. but even surveying i may just want to operate a total station mm. i must be a senior mm. I, I was interacting with a student who completed from utc leader he's working with the they're working on the road in capture mm. and he was telling me that our senior surveyor is a senior four graduate a lady mm. and he says he's earning 2.4 and he may get 400. Mm. Why? Prior exposure. That just put her on the road there, but when they come to the computer, there are issues. <laughs> <laughs> but you give her a, a damp level, a total station, and put her on the road. Mm. The results will be there. Now there are teams that will interpret the, the data. The, the data. Mm. So you can train. Mm. But the other part where we are, we are cheating viewers, where mm. I was coming in, is the entry requirement for our programs. Yes. Because we are only explaining the short course. Mm. Mm. But at but, college, mm. we have five very beautiful programs. Mm. Like I was saying that we are even adopting the teaching from this new training mm, to, to the, the traditional one. programs. Mm. Mm. We have mechanical engineering, mm. electrical engineering, mm -hmm. civil engineering, mm -hmm. architecture, ICT, mm. then water engineering. Mm. Now, entry requirement for these programs at National Diploma, mm. we take people who have completed the senior six. Mm -hmm. But you must have a principal pass in either physics or mathematics with the two subsidiaries at the same sitting. That is one category. Okay. Then we have these ones who complete senior four. From senior four, you go to a technical institute like uh, Ora in Zombo. Mm. You finish two years, which is an equivalent of senior six. We call them upgraders. Mm. Those ones, mm. you must have completed a certificate at that level. Then you just come and join our college for a diploma. Mm. Then we have, and we have government slots at all levels. These ones who have finished senior four and going up, they have their slots for government sponsorship. These ones who have completed the senior six, they have the Jabu um, scholarships. Then we have people who come for higher diploma, mm. an intermediate between a degree and a mm. national diploma. Mm. Those ones, you must have completed a diploma for Before. you to come for higher diploma. Mm. That is the, the clarification that we were not putting clear to our viewers. Again, that, uh, let's talk about the dormitories. Mm -hmm. um, I saw the blocks of the dormitories for the girls and the boys and all that. How safe are they? It's, we are center of excellence. That is a uh, given. An equivalent <laughs> of, of, I think, Serena, Serena, <laughs> 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 because our strategy was, yes. you see, when we were designing this um, <laughs> this curriculum, <laughs> we, we 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 looked at what will attract people to come. Yes. And when you go to a center of excellence, it means mm. there shouldn't be again any other thing better than you as a center of excellence. Mm. That is the mind into which we design some of these accommodation facilities. Mm. So, to a student level, we are at the level of Serena. Okay. Hotel. Mm. But uh, not like exactly here, but at least we are at that level. At that kind so of They level. are very executive and uh, everything is, uh, and the capacity is also good. Mm. Yeah. But uh, as a college, and since we are looking at uh, uh, scaring Ugandans, mm. we still need more, more accommodation. And I think through our real life projects, we shall be putting more and more accommodation. But mm. I think what we have so far now, Okay. We are good to go. This oh, not only girls, but also boys. Even the boys, okay. Yeah, this to. question goes to you, uh, Bongo. Uh, comes in from Manasseh Abuago, says that thanks a lot, top management UTC leader. Please emphasize more on the industrial placement. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to need more emphasization on that. Okwara Milton says, watching live from Gulu City, uh, to do, do you have online courses? Okwara, this is a technical institute. 
everything is hands-on yeah. it cannot be online, online. so <laughs> the online bit is off for the courses that are at the realities <laughs> ugandans <laughs> but thank you for watching milton uh then adam michael says thank you management utc leader government on uganda and uh, canada for the new courses introduced i'm an engineering student in the civil industry i would like to know the requirements for someone to apply they have already given them to you. Uh, then Kamudu Patricia, thanks for the show. We are proud of the mighty college watching from UTC Lira. Uh, no online courses, no online. Anyone asking online, I won't answer that. <laughs> okay. Principal, yes, please. what are some of the challenges you're facing? Now let's go the hard talk now. <laughs> what are some of the challenges you're facing, yes. on, especially on, on oversight level there? Well, on the oversight level, mm. as, uh, as a principal, of course, we have already indicated that uh, the college is in the heart of the city. Correct. It had some infrastructure mm -hmm. in terms of the fencing, mm. which was a chain link. And of course, chain link was vandalized. Easy to jump over. Was vandalized. Oh. And uh, as a college, we started uh, construction of the wall fence. Of course, funds uh, may, 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 uh, may could not allow us to do it. Mm. So that is one of the big challenges that uh, as an institution, we need a wall fence mm. so that we can secure fully. Mm. Yes, we have tried with the use of CCTs, mm. use of uh, armed guards, mm. uh, even uh, employing more of our own local guards, but it's not enough. Mm. So we need, uh, I think, uh, the other the, the the one first. One. Mm. Then the other one is government has given us uh, a lot of infrastructure, mm -hmm. some of these good, good structures. Mm. But of course, uh, the, 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 the institution did not start yesterday. Mm -hmm. It has a structure that were built in the 1945, mm. and they are asbestos roofed. And you know, it would be it is quite embarrassing. You come on the first, you look at a very beautiful structure. Mm. When you go behind, b back b b at the backyard, you find some of the old what structures. There are about ten structures, mm. and uh, those ones need to be refurbished. Okay. So that if we are to be fully uh, 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 covered, uh, covered as mm. a, a center of excellence, then uh, the other one is uh, uh, internship. Uh, internship with the acceptance of our students mm. in industry. Mm. We yes, we have involved the industry so 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 much, mm. but there's still some negativities. Some people feel that the students are a liability. Mm. So we need an, en an enabling policy mm. by government to either provide either tax holiday for every industry that takes on internships, internships yes. or give uh, a, a penalty for if each industry that rejects. does not rejects, mm. then they get a, a penalty. Mm. Or for those that are very good at receiving, they get uh, some tax holiday, mm. or something like that, so that e eventually our, our students are get accepted. The mm. Because the industry needs our graduates, but you cannot make get ready-made graduates unless they are trained. Mm. So that is our big challenge. Okay. We know the Tivet policy is trying to address it. Possibly when the it comes into force by by uh, Act of Parliament, mm. I think there will be something done to ensure that every industry in Uganda, by mandate, takes on in Tanis. Mm. So that is the other big challenge that normally get. Mm. Yes. We have not had instances where ha some have left, but as you, you, you even got, got from the Twitter, they are saying address the issue of internships. Mm. internships so they yes. get challenges. Sometimes we get challenges. Mm. Uh, refusal. Sometimes some of them ask money. Oh. That if you are to take on your students, they should pay so much. Mm. And it becomes a big challenge. Oh, yeah, to the so students. then the other challenge I can talk of, yes, we have been given equipment. We are supposed to train by, with production. Mm. But uh, I think there's been a dwindling uh, government uh, funding. Mm. And it is it is affected our performance. Mm. Of course, uh, if I may uh, talk the truth, is mm. that uh, for the last I think one year, what we have received as grants may be a quarter mm. of what we are supposed to see to, to have received the entire year. The financial year. But mm. of course, we, we we know COVID was a problem. Mm. There were a lot of uh, cuts. Mm. But as in training institutions, I think we need to be given priority mm. because there is no way we can train without instructional materials. Correct. Yeah. 
I love Bongo. Did you hear the way he brought it? The dwindling fans, like the, <laughs> I had the voice dwindling going <laughs> down, <laughs> addressing the dwindling. Someone has a question for you here, Bongo. Um, as an already enrolled university student, can I study a TV program parallel to my university program? That's one. The other one says. Um, Yes, they do refresher courses, but how can someone apply when they have not gone to Lira straight? Oh. Do we have lies in offices oh, within yes, here? Yes, yes. Okay, it's already book number two. Let yes, <laughs> you handle number one. Yes. <laughs> now, um, this university student yes. is asking where they can do that of course alongside uh, the TVET program yes. the TVET program mm. now it depends on this program at the university because mm. you remember uh, the TVET program specifically for roads it mm. takes you about three four months oh. and you are done maybe I'm going for surveying mm. three months I'm done so so long as it does not conflict much with the other programs in the university you are good to go oh, okay yeah. Andrew, let's mm. make it and very clear <laughs> you meet the minimum it is it can be part-time at his university Okay. Because for us, the other side, it is three months time. all through. Yes. Because 240 mm. contact hours. Okay. So, is the part time can be at a university? Mm. If we can maneuver the other side, course work in easy ways, there is mm. no problem. But for us, our side, it is full, full time. Full time there. 240 contact hours. Correct. Remember, mm. uh, the assessment is very strict. Mm. It seems Amazon, the assessment, you must be doing something yes. for you to mm. assess. Mm -hmm. And the assessment is UBTEB and the industry, as we said. It's yes. not only one sided. Mm. The industry also has a part to play in the assessment. So, if you're in the university, you <laughs> maybe you need first to, to, to be very serious on this one because there's no nothing like moonlighting. Yes. Uh, uh, there's no moon, moonlighting yes. in this. You have to, whether well, I say today we are learning this skill, you that's must it. be there. Yeah. Because if you miss that skill, of course you are coming to mess out, out in the, the rest of the courses. Yes. And, and Andrew, mm. there is something we learned from France when we went for benchmarking mm. on assessment. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think some of these, uh, the design of this project was uh, on spot. Okay. Because when we reached France, the gentleman showed us a very big file of every student. Every assignment you do, you are assessed, in you are assessed there and then, mm. and the document is put in a file. That even you, and you can go and assess a runner and you know whether this one has passed or he has failed. Whoa. And that's what our instructors have adopted mm. and have started. Mm -hmm. Because that's how they were training that uh, mm. benchmarking mm. activity. And that's now technology. every student, this one, we find you have a file. Today you have not attended, but we started on Calvert. Yes, you are not here. Making them, you didn't attend. Mm. Here you got that. So an instructor from industry, when he comes, because we are, we are involving industry in assessment, yeah. we just say, can you give me a file of Andrew Chamagher? Even your photo is here. <laughs> and he says, on 11th, That's he nice. was at NTV. Mm. Okay, no problem. <laughs> on the 13th, he, he appeared here for only two days. This yes. one cannot get a paper. Correct. So this gentleman who thinks he can do both courses, that's mm. what I was saying. Need it should be mm. part time where he is, mm. and but this time, side yeah. the system yeah. will not favor him. I uh, I love that. Then let's talk about the um, the online bit. Do I have to drive all the way to Lira? No, 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 no. What we have done as a strategy mm -hmm. is that uh, every radio station where we run announcements, mm. it becomes a our center. a contact center, mm. and our applicants, even in the announcement, mm. we tell them that application forms can be got from. This Udo, radio station in uh, Masaka, mm. Baba FM, in Jinja, mm. uh, Jabu for Kampala, mm. Mega FM for Guru, mm. Etop for Jin for for Soroti, mm. Arua One, and Radio Purchase for West Nile. Mm. Then uh, Big FM for Eastern Mbali. Mm. And uh, we are now concluding on Western Uganda with Radio West. Now, then now uh, it is me who mm. moves around. As the instructors go for for this, they pick them and. What but but Andrew, to to mm. supplement on that, mm. one of uh, these days we are embarking on e kind of. E e la, e e because our lab mm. uh, in the ICT department, mm -hmm. they are drafting um, yeah. a bit of online applications. Yes. yes. Where now you need not to go. To I don't need to move. Yes. yes. I can you, go you just put phone, you yes. put your papers there. Yeah. Then we do uh, bad person on the other side and see what you meet the medical person. Then we get back to you. Maybe you are present for the training. So now we are online. Yeah. That's how we are. <laughs> so the only thing you can do online is to apply, correct? Yes. yes. 
Principal, yes, I would like us to have more of this conversation again and again, but just like you said, the fund of this program could only secure us this time. <laughs> only, two hours. <laughs> only two hours. What could be your parting shots to the parent watching, a Ugandan youthful and energetic as I am, mm. who is watching and still has a chance and a shot to life? Well, I want to say that, uh, thank you so much, Andrew, mm. and I want to thank Minister of Education for uh, giving us the opportunity to come and talk to the entire Uganda, mm. and uh, particularly UTC leader, we will come every body. Mm -hmm. We want to give skills to everybody so that uh, eventually uh, we do not again cry of unemployment. Mm -hmm. We must have these employable skills. Either you employ yourself or they employ they, they employ you. Mm. Uh, and uh, and we, as as you we were saying, at inflation of prior learning, especially for the short courses. We encourage everybody to come for the short courses. Mm. Then for the other national diploma programs, definitely they, they are known and laid, well laid out for uh, entry requirements. UTC Lira is the best place to come. You come, you get all the skills, you get, you, you learn. We are not joking. In fact, I, I, maybe if I may borrow uh, Golora's uh, mm. word, we are mm. not joking. Subject when it comes to to, uh, to, to, to teaching as, yes. at UTC Lira, mm. we teach. We don't lecture and mm. people get the skills. So I want to encourage everybody and I want to thank everybody to, for watching us. Mm. And uh, uh, it, is, it is my honor and pleasure to thank the First Lady, mm -hmm. is our minister, the permanent secretary, then the project implementers, mm. PCU, and uh, our department, uh, Tivet, Tivet Home Department. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Seb, Semba Jwe Issa. He says, my question is, what plan do they have for those who didn't complete Form 4? I want to throw this to you, Abbas. Form 4? We, yes. we have the non-formal programs. Okay. That uh, they can plug people. Through. Yes, they can enter through non-formal, mm. have some skills, some mm -hmm. prior running, then they now come and... Okay. And maybe yeah. as I could, to complement on his, mm. on, on, uh, because we even have uh, some... Uh, special program is solar installation mm. and uh, yeah. we, we, under GIZ, are, are under GIZ. Mm. but uh, as uh, UTC Lira, I think we are a center now for, sol for, 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 for solar installation mm. and we some of those that want those short short courses mm. they apply and then they are trained two three four weeks somebody mm. comes gets his skills Julius Ochaka thanks for the show I'm an old student in the class of architecture graduated in the year 2018 mm. and uh, now serving in the Spatial Forces Command mm. civil engineering department I'm proud of my school well done Julius um, Muzaki Rebecca says thanks for the show but can I apply for the next intake on government watching live from Bali that will be your very last take Bongo what are your parting shots before he responds to that <laughs> <laughs> yeah Andrew thank you uh, mm -hmm. principal has already said it all uh, first of all I want to thank this project mm -hmm. the government for this innovation mm -hmm. as I said I will finish some time back but I did yeah, have this are. I did have this, mm. this opportunity for this kind of training, mm. so I think that was good for the government. Uh, people have always uh, challenged government uh, the, the about the education, the education system, mm. not right. But I think this is now the right time Correct. that uh, we shall see a change in the country, mm -hmm. mostly in the road sector, mm. because uh, people have always complained they bring Chinese and all that. I think mm. it will impact a lot in the road construction sector when mm. this training uh, is uh, a little bit well maintained we take it and mm. mindset change to ugandans mm. uh, you know a lot of persons are coming but um, if only we change our mindset mm. what are the days when you see technical i was in Tesla college mm. i applied to utc mm. say why are you going there you need to go to nagongera you, mm. you know those uh, br proud ones yeah, yeah i mean they, 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 they for, for teaching those uh, colleges for, for and this is and technical mm. somebody would be surprised mm. but uh i really appreciate uh, some bit of a background that i had before mm. you know somebody introduced me to technical drawing oh, yeah. way back when i'm seen that too I so i feel that. like it was good mm. but in that cell i um, think i I uh, want to thank you for hosting us as well. Mm. Uh, we are very interactive. Eh? We shall always have these I think conversations. It's first time you. <laughs> <laughs> and all those who supported us and supporting us still. Correct. For the students who mm. want to come, we are there 24 mm. 7, as the principal put it. Mm. We are very focused and want to see mm. this program too.
to be assessed. To the yes. Abbas, yeah. as we're finalizing, these, you're going to respond to what the lady asked um, that is in Mbali, if they can apply for the next, uh, the next intake of government scholarship, if it's still there anyway. Then two, with your parting shots, kindly share with us the number and the contacts where people can actually call in and be part of the Lira TC. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want first of all to assure uh, the lady. We, I think we have another set of senior citizens are coming out. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has really to apply because it is like an offer of for course. her here. We mm -hmm. have agreed. Mm -hmm. I have technically convinced my boss that she has to be given. <laughs> <laughs> so <it must> be <laughs> Congratulations. Must be very yes, she's uh, in Mbali. Um, she's close. Mm, as I wind up, I think what is most important, Andrew, in this country is that mm -hmm. we need to love whatever we are doing. I, I want to encourage the parents and the students when you come for a course, first of all, love it <laughs> and get the necessary skills. Mm -hmm. And we want the parent to take the initiative to ask. Let's not just say someone is at university. Also ask what is he doing? Because mm -hmm. we have now very many names of degrees you cannot even interpret. Mm -hmm. And the parents are selling grand what and what and dumping that money. Mm. Let's come back and look at skills. You ask someone, what are you, if your child cannot in, explain his degree in your local language, that is a wrong word. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. That should be the yardstick. Yeah. Ask him, uh -huh, what, what are so much Convert what you're studying that, uh, in local language. That conflict resolution, what and what is mm. for you, where is war? Yeah. Go to <laughs> That is uh, the best formula. We are planning for the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best formula for us to, to move ahead. So yes. we, I just want to encourage uh, mm. those who have enrolled in these programs, you will have it first and give a hundred percent so that you get skills. Okay. All of us, even the instructors, mm. love your job and mm. give these learners the skills and the competences they, they need. need. Mm. Such that tomorrow we build a, a better Uganda. Someone mm. was giving me a scenario that in South Sudan, mm -hmm. when they are constructing a road, mm. you will find even a Sudanese mingling a heap of color like this. Yeah. Bring for the contractor because this is our country. I need a good road. Yeah. In Uganda, where they are constructing a road, it is where vehicles want to go and take fuel, which is stolen. Correct. And that's Some where we issue. lose it. Mm. The patriotism and the love for our country dies. Even mm. us, like you now, we have to maintain those equipment, what and what. We need to love them. Correct. These are for our generation, for our children and our children to come. Mm. That's what I wanted to conclude with yeah. as I, I, I give the contacts. But I think uh, we have empowered the deputy so much to be receiving. More. I think I will give mine for deputy, which I reserve for the principal. Okay. Because Let's have those is, numbers in uh, a bit. Then mm. for the, 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 the deputy will give mm. for the register. So, yours, so mm. my number is 0783, because mm -hmm. mine must be public. Of course. Public so relations. Mm. 1141. Mm. Then is zero seven zero five thirty mm -hmm. six eleven forty one. Deputy it is on full time. Bongo. Uh, mine is zero seven eight three mm. forty one double six thirty two. Again. But if you are engaging zero seven eight three four one mm. double six three two. Correct. But when you want to get me on WhatsApp, which mm. is uh, the new order. The new order is seven seven five six eight six three one five. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much to all those that have been listening and watching uh, from across the globe. We are very gratified to have had you today. Uh, ben on Fred Trinamasco has said that I'm now sure that if students were to be allowed to apply for government scholarships after their UNEV results are already out, would get these going for TVIT out of passion rather than last resort, hence getting productive workforce. All I can tell you is that information is power. That's an absolute statement. How you use the information you know with actionable points depends entirely on you. I urge you to go, if you're a parent, if you're a guardian, if you're youth, and you feel like you want to go for these courses, the short courses are as three months. Imagine how much money you could actually spend in the parting and going around the town, you know, making merry. And how about spending those three months acquiring a skill? Our country still needs roads. Our country needs bridges. Our country needs a lot of skills if we're going to develop as a country. And not only that, even when you're moving out of this country, you go with this skill. This is a lifetime given opportunity for you to tap into these skills. The program is Skills for Success. I'm Andrew Chamagero. Until next week on Wednesday, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., the program is powered by the Minister of Education and Sports, Skills, Uganda, and the World Bank. Have a lovely afternoon.
Behind the deliciousness of that meal you enjoy at your favorite restaurant is a skilled chef. Behind the strength of that building where you work or study is a skilled technical engineer. Behind the proper electrical wiring and lighting in your home is a skilled electrician. A skilled mechanic, a skilled seamstress, a skilled nurse, a skill. You too can master the right skill to become the best at what you do. Olina Potential. Enroll in any certified TVET institution and get the right skills to start a new career today. For more information, visit our offices at the Ministry of Education and Sports or our website at 